Hello guys, welcome to your 23rd lesson in this Vue.js course. Now, earlier on in this course, in about the second lesson, I showed us how to create our Vue.js app. And for that, I showed us how to make use of the Vue CLI and also the second tool that Vue gives us, which is the Create View. Now, the Vue CLI has basically been the de facto and standard method of creating our Vue app before it gave us this new tool. Now, this new tool, this Create View to actually make use of Vite under the hood to create our Vue.js app. Now, we're going to be comparing both of them, the pros and cons of making use of the Vue CLI and the pros and cons of making use of Vite and in this case, the Create View tool. So, let's get started. Firstly, let's look at this Vue CLI. Now, we're going to first look at the pros of making use of the Vue CLI. Now, number one, it is a reliable and well-known method. So, you can use your Vue CLI to create it and create your Vue app. Everyone knows it. And it's pretty much the well-known method, the reliable way of creating a Vue app, the one we used to know and love. And secondly, the Vue CLI supports old and modern Vue or JavaScript libraries. And it can also bundle any kind of dependencies. All right, let's move on. Now, the Vue CLI under the hood actually makes use of Webpack. Okay, so these are some of the advantages of using the Vue CLI. So if Webpack, uh, making use of Webpack or any of these are reasons that you actually think that you actually need in your Vue.js app, then you should consider making use of the Vue CLI. Now, let's look at the cons of the Vue CLI. Number one, the dev server speed is actually inversely proportional to the number of dependencies. Now, what does it mean? It means as you keep building your Vue.js app and your Vue app keeps getting larger and larger, you keep adding more and more JavaScript or Vue.js uh, specific dependencies into your app, then your server speed begins to reduce and especially your development server. You begin to notice a bit of a, a lag time, you notice it being slower and slower. So let's say, for example, you make some changes into your app. The time for rebuilding for your uh, dev server, you, you start noticing some of those changes in that it becomes a bit slower. Okay, let's now go over and look at the second method, which is Vite or Create View. Now, number one, one of the pros of it is it is way faster than making use of the Vue CLI, making use of Webpack. So it can be 10 times or 100 times faster now another thing is it makes code splitting a priority which is different from the approach that the traditional view cli which makes use of a uh, web pack under the hood make use of and another thing is it supports most of the configured convention in your view cli project so most of the things that you need to get started with most of the things that a lot of developers actually are uh, opting for such as maybe state management typescript it supports that out of the box and another thing is it actually provides a better development experience. So as a developer, you most likely would enjoy uh, building your app using Vite uh, compared to the Vue CLI because making use of this particular tool makes it easier to actually scaffold or create your Vue.js application and also the dev server is actually faster now how about we look at some of the cons of making use of this create view or vite tool number one it's not fully compatible with common js models and in case this might be something that you need readily available then you might consider not making use of this and making use of the view cli instead now another thing is it majorly supports modern browsers okay and if your view app is something that you actually want it to work well on older or legacy browsers this might be a bit of an issue might be uh, present a bit of a problem now moving forward in this course we're going to make use of this create view tool to actually create our app and make use of it now the previous app which i built the demo app i built and i showed us in the beginning of this particular 
course was actually built and finished up with the view cli but so as to actually cover all bases and to make sure that in case you want to make use of the view uh, device instead of the view cli next time it wouldn't be strange to you and you won't have any issues so i decided to actually switch from the view cli to making use of vite all right so let's get started Okay, so I'm right here in cli.viewjs.org and we are right here in looking at the view CLI and if you actually still want to make use of the view CLI, you can find the instructions right here. But we're going to go over to the create view and it says right here the recommended way to start a vite pad view project. Okay, and if we should scroll down, we should see some more information. Okay, differences from um the view cli or how to migrate from the view cli all right and to get started all we have to do is run this command now we're going to run npm init view at three so this is the version number right here so if you want to make use of view two you can use this command here view at two all right so what i'm essentially going to do is i'm just going to copy this right here so let's copy this and i'm coming to my file explorer right here now if you notice the initial app we created earlier in some few lessons back which was food mode i've actually renamed this to food mode underscore then view dash cli so i'm going to open up my command prompt right here and i'm just going to paste in the command and let's run it okay so it's asking us the project name and i'm going to say food mode okay so it's going to ask us do you want typescript uh for now no and gsx support i think i would say not to that and add view router we're going to make use of the view router so we're going to say yes now add pinia for state management no and add vitex for unit testing no and no and s lint for code quality i'm going to say yes to that and then prettier for code formatting no and this is going to quickly scaffold and create this particular folder right here so we can see the folder with basically the skeletal structure of everything we need and let's continue so i'm just going to cd into this particular directory and once i do that let me clear the command prompt and i'm going to say npm install okay and that's going to basically install all the dependencies that is needed so let's stay tuned okay so let's open up in visual studio code okay so the project is now open inside of visual studio code and let's quickly have a look around uh we have the xlc we have everything as uh we know and okay we are used to and all of these works fine how about we quickly start up the server and dev server and see how it actually looks like okay so i'm going to run npm and one thing you should note i'm going to quickly um inform us is instead of the previous project where we run npm run serve which when we create uh, any Vue.js projects with uh, the Vue CLI, we will use this command. We won't use this npm run serve. If you come here to your package.json, you'll see we don't have any script um, pointed to serve right here. But instead, we have dev. So we are essentially going to say npm run dev. Okay, so that should get the project started all right and we can see how fast that really was and for us to have a preview so i'm just going to copy this and come to my web browser right here and paste this in so let's see okay now we can see this right here and looking all nice and well and if we should come to let's take a look we have the app dot view right here okay so we have the app dot view right here and inside of our views we have the about views okay which looks like this and we have the home view which actually looks like this now one thing you should actually um you might have noticed right here we have the setup this makes use of composition api 
by default okay so we have the setup right here which is not making use of the setup hook um but as we've learned in the previous um lesson we actually it's making use of the setup scripts right here so by default it makes use of the composition api and you won't really see any vite created project um by default making use of the setup hook but we'll see this method instead okay that's just one of the little differences we have between a project created with the view cli and a project created making use of the create view which basically makes use of vite okay so i'm going to see you in the next lesson where we're going to be building up our app